day, I will jam a castle in Aoni, Ututuoma, and in my very own dialect, Kanuri Ndawatu. Greetings to all our respected dignitaries, to our incredible faculty, hardworking staff, faithful parents. Thank you for being a part of this memorable moment to share this great milestone with AUN's class of 2016. Welcome to our campus, the Hub National Development Center for Youth Empowerment. I am pleased to stand in front of such great audience, wearing the shawl of accomplishment, skill, and great victory. You are welcome. I see my friends and colleagues rubbing their hands, eager to climb up to the stage and snatch their degrees and run into the world. But as cartoonist Gary said, commencement speeches were designed to ensure that outgoing college students are never released into the world until they have been carefully sedated. Distinguished guests, permit me to say that America has the seed, but Nigeria indeed has the soil. The great, American <laughs> the great American seed has been planted in us, and indeed we shall sprout because Nigeria is the soil. As Samson Ada said, as we suck the seed, we shall succeed. Nevertheless, if you want to be happy, set a goal that commands your thoughts, liberates your energy, and inspires hope. Before you, class of 2016, are people who represent happiness and hope. And it is with esteemed privilege that I am a part of the set of stars who embody happiness, hope, intuition, innovation, creativity, and originality. Stars who, without a doubt, are energetic and always exude the spirit of groove. I do not know where to begin. Is it Marilyn Elechi, our number one female athlete? Lefa, the South African belly dancer? Jaye, our creative turn-up mixer? Ebi, our incredible performer? Is it Sanusi Tijani, our humble senator? Musa Babagana, our glorious imam? Or John Paul offers humor? And Ebenezer Dari, I'm still waiting for my cowboy hat. Is it Nicole, the fashionista, or Sally's Jolie by Dolly clothing line? Kenneth Magbo, the brain box, or Gregory Tani, the president of the Honor Society? Talk about our Senate leader, Fatima Ali, Justin Ada, R.A. Charman, Siddiqui Hamadu, the friendly team player, Awal, the businessman, and our energetic Basil Abia. I cannot forget our superstar, Ike Chuku Ilomanya, a.k.a. Ike Loms. <laughs> and the life of the party, Kingsley Jima. <laughs> Coming to this university was never an option for me. It was my worst nightmare. My goal was not to attend an American school, but it was my dream to go to school anywhere in America. Today, I have no regrets. Ladies and gentlemen, I stand before you today and I am confident in my words when I say that I am not just a reflection, but I am a mirror image of the American University of Nigeria because we, before you, are indeed a simulation of the exclusive AUN experience. <laughs> AUN has drawn a thin line between the classroom and reality, hence reaffirming itself as a development university. We have been equipped with the skills to develop our community through community service, sustainability programs, and social entrepreneurship. We have limited access to su success at our fingertips. With Dean Bullock, who has taught us to inhale confidence and exhale doubt. We have seen further because it is by standing on the shoulders of such giants and our president and sign, who has shown us that a dynamite comes in a small package. Our cab drivers, who know the places we visit, Lionel security officers who know us by name, faculty who push us when we're slacking, the clinic who give us health tips, 
and the campus store that keeps us going even when we go broke. <laughs> Every day has had its moments. It could be cutting the line at the cafeteria, trying to print at the copy center, shouting your orders at cravings, rushing to your 8 o'clock class so Bill Hansen doesn't lock his door, <laughs> making sure you make sense in class so that Dr. Sam doesn't call you out, or locking your door so that you don't get busted in the dorms. It can be Damada, Clubhouse, Duragi, or Hometel. It was Poops, now that lounge. It could be discussing with the Norwegian ambassador to Nigeria at dinner, President Jacob Zuma of South Africa, the US ambassador, or the former vice president of Uganda. It can be the all-white cocktail, the late night cab concerts, or our prestigious homecoming pageant of beauty and brains where I was crowned as Miss AUN. Finally, I cannot forget to mention that no amount of air conditioning our founder provides can liberate the incredible and unforgettable Yola sunshine. <laughs> to the close friendships that I've made on campus, Gina Vako, Simi Daliop, Grace John Sini, Murna Maman, Kelvin Asara, Usaku Musa, Christy, and so on. If I were to mention all your names, I would mention everyone on this AUN campus. And Salome Elwa, I will be sure changing our friendship if I call you my best friend, because the only thing we lack is that we do not share the same surname. Thank you to our faculty and staff who work tirelessly to ensure our social and academic well-being on campus. To the career office that will turn your long essay into a professional resume. Our residence life staff, shout out to Mr. B and the unshakable boss lady, Madam Grace. If there's one thing I've learned from the registrar's office, Mr. Yakubu can tell you that it is to follow my catalog. <laughs> Thank you, Auntie Hawa. It is not by chance that you are my mom's namesake. Special thanks to the School of Business and Entrepreneurship for empowering me with the knowledge to complement this university's prestige. Professor Linus, who will give you four questions in an exam that can be labeled from A to Z. Dr. Tamara Myatt, who will drill you until you begin to ask questions on Google, such as who invented school. Dr. Faradine, who is everly prepared to write me an instant letter of recommendation because he believes in me. Here's an early notice because I'll be coming back for one for my master's degree. Dr. Hassan Yusuf, who will teach you in his strategy class that for you to succeed in business, you either strategize or die. Any organization that offers today what is sold yesterday will be out of business tomorrow. Those are his words. Mr. Sam Makano, you are a great teacher, friend, and a good guardian. I'll always remember you. To my calculus instructor, Charles Fonche, it was difficult, but I'm here standing. <laughs> I would like to congratulate my finance professor, Ifatu, on achieving his MSc today. It feels great to be graduating with my professor. <laughs> to our new provost, Professor Lejean, you may not realize how happy you've made me today, but you're someone I'll never forget. Finally, a big thank you to our parents who have never lost faith in us. Thank you, Daddy, for your unrelenting financial and moral support for the constant encouragement and never-ending hope. Thank you, Mommy, for keeping my life steered straight. When all seems to start falling out of line, your advice and prayers put everything back to place. I thank God Almighty for my caring brothers and sisters. Please put your hands together for these wonderful people. <laughs> Dear parents, the young inquisitive soldiers you dropped off are not the same. Before you are an epitome of this university's mission, which is to produce new African leaders who are committed to sustaining a democracy in which diverse people share in the rights and responsibilities of citizenship and who are a catalyst for development in the entire world. This university has taught us to dream big. Dr. Fidelis once said in my class, a loser, Mariam, is not someone who has not achieved their dream. 
a loser is someone who fails to dream. As we embark on this new journey in our lives, we will experience change, and change comes with challenges, which demands hard work. We can't continue to do what we do, or we can choose to make changes. We can victimize ourselves or work for the better. Oprah Winfrey could have maintained, I was raped at nine. Nelson Mandela could have maintained, I have been in prison for 27 years. Bill Gates, I didn't finish school. Eminem, I repeated fourth grade nine times. Lionel Messi, I served tea to pay for soccer training. What am I saying? As the popular saying goes, these are epic examples of rags to riches, zero to hero, nothing to something, and grass to grace. There is one commonality between these great people. They dreamed and they put in the hard work. There are no shortcuts. It is not by chance that we are gathered here to celebrate these young graduates. Excellence is as a result of purpose and objective, which, ha which has gotten us here. Hence, our gathering here is as a result of high intention, intelligent direction, and skillful execution. It is as a result of sincere efforts and hard work because excellence is no accident. Congratulations, class of 2016.